Carmel Swede directly from uh, Grand Fitness, outside Grand Fitness, at Jalma Branting, close to Kvilletorget <laughs> in uh, central Gothenburg. Yeah, that's where I am. So it's Tuesday and we have a new week. Monday is typically kind of a rest and recovery day. Uh, lots of business, lots of work, meetings, uh, etc. But the rest of the week it's more uh, let's get down into the grind. Um, so now this week it's Easter, right? Uh, so what I'm thinking is we have or I have Saturday, Sunday and Monday are days off, Friday as well, but Friday I have some other things going on. So Saturday, Sunday and Monday will be like long distance biking days uh, in the morning. So let's see how that goes. But ideally it should be like Saturday 120 something, 100 uh, Sunday with the bike, bike club and Monday to top it off another session, right? So that's the plan. So maybe I can get like 200, 300 kilometers these coming days. So I think that would be awesome to build a solid base for the Pedalma 700k Madrid to Barcelona later in May. I've done about 2000 kilometers so far this winter, which is pretty damn good considering I've been biking indoors on Swift. Like, so you do one hour at a time, essentially. Uh, it's, it's kind of difficult to get the bulk, the volume into Swift. Uh, that's it. So now I'm also, I put up my, or filled up my cold plunge. So the idea now is to have a coffee and then I'm going to my balcony and I'm going to do a cold plunge. So if you will see a video where I'm doing a cold plunge exactly after this one, that means I've succeeded. If you do not see a video exactly after this one, it means I bailed <laughs> and it was too damn cold, right? Um, let's see how this goes, okay? Stay strong. So I just wanted to share and sometimes I'm a bit hesitant should I share these moments but maybe some of the, the greatest value uh, you can find in these videos is actually these parts. Right? Uh, I, I feel like some what I see is you have these sports stars and athletes and stuff like that you might follow on social media and everything. Um, there's a gap between where you are at and where they are at, and it can feel impossible to achieve anything near to what they are doing, right? Um, I know because I, I can sense that myself, and I can also hear other people say that about me from time to time. You know, I bikepacked across the United States, Spain to Sweden, Ironman and stuff, right? 
and that's awesome i truly truly love to do these those things that's kind of one of my big it's it's a big passion in my life right however you know i think it's super important to be transparent and honest and fair and sometimes you know it can be tough as well so i, I shared last week i shared this as well and then i was sitting on my balcony sharing a few pieces uh now i feel like i've been working like hard monday tuesday and wednesday and there are lots of things going on um you know with with my business yes and finances and stuff and just yesterday i checked the pedalma 700k ultra cycling event madrid to barcelona and start i need to really plan this right and I started to dive into the logistics of this whole affair. And it's kind of a tricky thing because you have, like there are no direct flights, Gothenburg to Madrid or Barcelona to, to Gothenburg. So I need to land somewhere in between and then continue. So it's like a logistical, oh, uh, it's, it's a mess. You know, you, you have to organize and get structured and you know dive into like how can i do these things and i think that one that is something you never talk about you just see these athletes or whatever and they do their thing and they kind of oh it, it seems easy but there is kind of just in order to get structured and organized that's a big big project right? and it takes energy and it's a you can feel like you know like a, a shit shit mess <laughs> like tough uh, and I also got my mom taking care of my mom, and that's you know her memory is not very good, right? So so that's also big kind of uh, it takes its toll. Uh, so this today this this first I feel like utterly depleted again, but I, at least I decorated my balcony, so now I have my cold bath and stuff, you know, and I can sense this. I know I need to balance balance out. I need to to calm down, chill a bit. So I'm working a bit on my video from the US, so that's pretty nice. I'm gonna take it easy, maybe take a power nap and stuff. Uh, but you know, uh, it's like... Oh. I don't know, it's like if you have a, a, a dream, a pack, like something you want to do. I see no other option than actually working towards it, right? And that is can be tough and so on. When you have other things going on in life that can also be tough, so it's like tough enough, <laughs> tough enough. <laughs> but you need to keep on working and grinding and do the things anyway you need you need to do the things you need to do in order to get where you want to go that's it there's no other option there's not no one else will do it for you and it's not good enough to say ah it's not for me you know i, I don't believe that you have to continue to 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 do what needs to be done uh, but you also need a balance right? so that's what i'm telling myself anyway oh I think you know if I want to if you want to do lots of cycling this year uh, it's good to complement indoors with outdoors so for the long sessions which I'm planning to do this Easter Saturday Sunday and Monday uh, four to five hours a day uh, with traffic and stuff that's really good to do outside obviously but these smaller sessions, shorter sessions, threshold, high interval training, high interval training sessions, aerobic recovery and stuff, shorter ones basically, yeah? Pretty good to do them inside. You can watch television, Netflix, listen to music, whatever you want, okay? And change position sometimes. Ah, oh, it feels so good. So today, I did lots of work, lots of errands as well. Moving about, logistics, picking up stuff, leaving some uh, parcels or boxes for Ukraine, some other things, right? 
That's pretty nice to end off the the day, the evening. It's a nice bike session. It's kind of it's a sure way of connecting your mind with your body. The mind-body connection, right? Which you also can achieve through the cold plunge, as I've shared before. So this mind-body connection, it's essential. Without it, you tend to work too much, too much desk time, screen time, not enough recovery, but you need to move. Uh, so take your brain from the screen into your body, onto a bike, or into your running shoes, head out, or a walk, whatever. It feels way better. And then, my friends, then you can enjoy a nice meal. Lots of protein, animal protein, which I'm advocate. Lots of good fats, uh, water, salts, hydrate. Yes, recover, chill, take it easy. Go to sleep early, you know? That's it. I'm about to take the ferry at Shushi. And I'm recording this. Maybe I shouldn't. I feel like I want to disconnect today. But I'm thinking this video is actually for myself. It's for me. I might share it. The weather is good. We have some sun, blue skies. And I got this knee pain here. Somehow, right? Uh, as a result from using my indoor bike, my trainer, which is very static, it's very still, it's like it uh, doesn't move at all on the trainer, the bike. So, the weakest link, I can feel the weakest link. So, today. I want to take it easy, change positions. My idea is to see if I can heal while biking. Right? It's beautiful. 